This is the voice flow project to an AI chatbot that I built for a client. The main purpose is for lead generation and to capture customer orders. The three main things that this chatbot will assist the client with is going to be saving time. So not having to respond to all these questions. Essentially every question is going to be an email save. A better customer experience. So getting instant answers 24 seven, that's going to have happier customers and they're going to be more informed about the products. You're going to get increased leads and you're going to get increased profits because customers won't leave the web page waiting for a response, waiting 24 or 48 hours. The software used for this is going to be Voiceflow, Make.com, Google Sheets, and Gmail. The main features are going to be capturing product details and sending them in an email, allowing the customer to send a custom inquiry, setting up a fallback system so that the questions can respond to manually over email, and capturing all the questions and answers within a spreadsheet. And if the question was answered well or needs fixing, that will be recorded as well. This is a smaller demonstration version of the bot that I built here. It's exactly the same, it covers pretty much all the same stuff. This is the start of the bot here. I've noted that it greets the customer and essentially it's going to prompt them to ask which product they would like to select. Since this is not only a lead generation, it's also capturing product details. It's going to enable them to choose whatever product they'd like. So if they'd like product one, they can click through to here. That's then going to give them certain options. So let's say they chose a t-shirt. This would be each color of the t-shirt. They would choose option three. It would take them to wanting to send an inquiry. They'd like to do so, they can click yes, prompt them to enter their name and then enter their email as well. I think it's, it's a bit slow because it's in the voice flow demo. If it was actually on the website, it'd be a lot quicker. And then eventually we the point where it just says, thank you, now you contacted about the product that you've chosen. And what we've included at the end here is a post. So this has now sent a make.com webhook. And now that's going to be using make.com to actually send an email with that inquiry. This is quite a simple setup. Essentially, as they click the button, it takes them to a new carousel feature where they can then select their option. It saves this to a variable called product type. And then it just enters that value as a, as a text value. That's going to be saved and then output it all the way at the end here. To trigger the AI, I've set up a no match. So if their question doesn't match any of these buttons, it will run straight to a component. This is the component here. Their question will essentially get thrown straight into the last utterance and run through to the knowledge base. The question they ask, the chatbot's response will all get saved as variables, which can then be sent via a webhook to a spreadsheet. Since the answer call is unknown, it's recorded as unknown and it will be updated later, whether or not, depending if they believe the question was answered. If the question response doesn't contain contact or inquire, it will go straight to here, which just says, does this answer your question? Yes or no. If they click yes, it did, it will essentially end this and send, a, send and update the spreadsheet from unknown to answered well. If they say it didn't answer the question, it will update it so it now says it was a bad answer and will ask them if they want someone to actually contact them which will essentially go and send that to the client and they can respond via an email manually they said it did answer the question it would update the spreadsheet to say it was a good answer and then obviously prompt them to take them back once they click take them back it will just go straight back here straight back to here where this question ended and they can begin their flow once again if the customer wants to make a custom inquiry, they click, I want to contact someone, which will move over this flow here, which is essentially the same as the questions. However, they can actually enter a custom message now. So rather than inquiring off of the question they asked, they can just ask a custom question. Rather than just capturing this question right away and sending it, what we've set up is that it actually runs that through the AI. So just to double check that if the AI can answer that question, then we'll see if it can. And obviously if it can't, they can still say no, send my message to someone and then it will go off, send the message via an email and they can respond manually. This also records all of this within a spreadsheet, similar to the AI component. This is essentially what the spreadsheet would look like if the customer asked, said hello, it would say hi, how can I help you? And if they said it was answered, it would pop up as answered. If they said that a question wasn't answered well, they can say that it needs fixing and all this data recorded here. And then what you can do is come through and update all of these and ensure that it can answer it for the future. This demo chatbot here is essentially this entire system, but just obviously on a much smaller scale. The client had a lot more products with a lot more options and a lot more stages. Additionally, they had a lot of FAQ questions. So you can see here, these are all FAQ questions. 
which this does not have, which is quite easy to add. All we need to do is add a button that takes him to a text and that will take him straight back here after clicking take me back. And that's essentially what this entire bot built here is doing. And it's a very simple integration. If you do want this, I will upload the file and put it in the description for a download. If you did want a chatbot like this for your business or website, just go to the link in the description and you can book a call. And what I'll do is I'll essentially create a workflow that will essentially detail exactly how it'll work and what it's going to do for you.